WrestleMania 35 tier has a lot of superstars in it. Some are great, some are average, some are Chad Gable. Who is the top dog? Who is the worst of Chad Gable? It's an interesting list with yet again many names tying for certain positions and some which you won't understand and some you will absolutely Chad Gable. Hey Salivas, my name is Super Oh my god, barbecue! And this is the best and worst in WrestleMania 35 tier. Today's video is sponsored by the wonderful guys and girls at Instant Gaming, but you can get yourself some incredible discounts on PlayStation, PC, and Xbox games. All you gotta do is use the link in the description and comment section below. Seriously, if you own any of those consoles I just said, you wanna be heading over to Instant Gaming right now oh and i almost forgot if you enjoy what you see in the video make sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel for more and turn your notifications on whilst you're there also whilst we're going through the list let us know in the comment section what you think and any changes you would make let's start off with the bottom 10 and we're gonna start off with constable baron whatever you want to call him in a triple threat starting this list off baron corbin Row or what's it? Is it Ivar? I, I, I don't even care. Whatever you want to call them now, Ivar, Eric. I'm I'm really bored of the whole a Viking experience thing and the Miz. I think they've done the Miz bad here, and Row I think should be mid tier, but whatevs. Matt freaking Hardy comes in at number nine. Otis Tucky, Roderick Strong come in at number eight with Kyle O'Reilly, Luke Gallows, and Tucky himself. Coming in at number seven. Number six belongs to the Irish. You know what? What do they why are they do this to the bar? Seamus and Xavier freaking Woods. Considering where Big E and Kofi Kinks are on, on this list, that's a big L supercard. Take that back, kind of Daddy Games. What did he beat you off or something? I don't know. Then we have Bobby Fish joined by Cesaro. Followed up by the glorious, well not so glorious, Bobby Roode and R-Truth. It's actually nice to see R-Truth. Then the second worst, well, Leo Rush, Rusev Day, and I don't know if you got the hints, but uh, the worst is Roman Reigns. No, I'm joking, it's Chad Gable! Chad Gable is the worst of the tier. Nothing needs to be said other than that is Wrestling ability, absolute sh Let's roll on up the rankings before we go to check out the ladies. And we're going to see Shinsuke Nakamura just making it past the top 10. you got the likes of handsome Bobby Lashley. I, I don't understand that. Sami Zayn's actually been treated right. Finally, last tier he was in was in gothic tier. Other than fusions and stuff like that. you got Big E joining him. Keith Lee and both the Usos and Elias and Drew McIntyre hitting up right almost bang in the center. Middle of the tier is EC3 VIP. Cedric Alexander and Braun Strowman are the same stats. Are you kidding? Wow. Adam Cole, baby, comes in just outside the top 10. Then Johnny Gargano, Jeff Hardy, Ali. Velveteen Dream, Ricochet, Matt Riddle, Kevin Owens, all finish the mid tier. And the top 10 is very, very full. In fact, there's a lot of big names in here. And it'd be, I'd be surprised if people don't have at least one of these superstars. Let's move on to the ladies and the bottom three should come as no surprise. Actually, the first one is a big surprise. Why are they got to go and do Carmella like that? Then Liv Morgan, Sarah Logan is the worst female of the tier. But check this out, just, just above that, Nia Jax. I think that that's a bit harsh. I mean, I know she's botched a lot, but it's a little, you know, it's a little bit... Yeah. Io Shirai then comes just above Ruby Wright, who, again... Comes above the uh, the Riot Squad. Bailey finally outside the top, the bottom three. She was horrible in Shattered Tier. 
Rhea Ripley and Tony Storm making their debuts with Sasha Banks, Shayna Baszler and Alexa Bliss coming in just beneath Asuka. The triple threat from WrestleMania. Third place, Charlotte Flair. Second place, Becky Lynch. Number one, of course she's going to be because T-shirt WrestleMania 31. Oh, she's the best. Becky Lynch is the best. Get out of here, Ronda. Who cares? Let's move on because I'm disgraced by that female ranking list. Especially, they, they why are they gonna do that to the man? Why are they gonna do that to the man? Moving on to the top ten, lads, not ladies. I almost said ladies again. We go back to the top ten, ladies. If you want to know, we're gonna focus on the men, and this is where we're gonna start off with number ten. Surprising. Probably accurate though, Walter and Buddy Murphy. The best kept secret, the longer a secret, top 10 on SmackDown Live on Walter killed Pete Dunne. I mean, you can't not have him there because he killed Pete Dunne. You got Rey Mysterio at a very unlikely ninth position. You know, I personally wouldn't have had him that high, but whatever. Number eight is a five way of just awesomeness of Andrade, Cien Almas. I'm not saying Andrade. It's not Andrade. It's Cien Almas. Ben Balor, Kofi Kingston, Kurt Angle, and Pete Dunne. Number seven, again, another lonely figure. Very surprising in this top ten. There's Samoa Joe. Samoa Joey, Samoa Judge. Followed up by Randy Orton at number six. Number five is a triple threat of AJ Styles, Alistair Black, and Tommaso Ciampa. Now, number four is very interesting, considering Daniel Bryan would have been a WWE champion when they made these ratings. And Batista, Daniel Bryan, and John Cena top off that list before we go into the top three, baby. And that starts off with the game. Triple H and the King Slayer, Beast Slayer, whatever you want to call him, Seth freaking Rollins. That is not surprising. Then we have Brock Lesnar coming in at number two, which then leads us to number one. I wonder who it could possibly be. Who's a big superstar who has lots of power he's got lots of charisma you know he's gotta be the number one in the company of course he's gotta be number one if you're looking at the actual rankings a little bit of a joke here brock lesnar beat diverticulitis roman reigns has beat cancer twice i mean come on tough sob roman reigns at the top of the rankings personally i wouldn't have him at the top i think it's a little i don't know just the fact that he's just come back I'd have Seth at the top. I'd have him as the top guy, Roman, maybe number three. I'd even put Batista up there. Because if you're looking old school Batista, Batista, John Cena, I don't know. I personally would have had them at the top instead. Hey, now you're expecting to see Kofi Kingston at the top of the next tier because he is the WWE champion. So much has changed. But that is your best and worst for WrestleMania 35 tier. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, what you would change in the list, again, in the comment section below. And also what your thoughts are about Chad Gable, because he is pretty bad, isn't he? Oh, uh, dear me. Anyways, this has been Super Zomagar Barbecue. You have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn your notifications on whilst you are there. Yeah, yeah, yeah,